It's the 1920s, small city was just founded and growing in its good network and buildings. Are you going to be the best head engineer to build the happiest and efficient city? This is Tramways. What is it about? In this video, we're going to show you what to expect from Tramways. And if you watch till the end, we hope you can decide whether or not this game is for you. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant and Stella from Ipul University, bringing you a variety of quality booking videos. On this channel, we do a lot of how to play, play through, review, vlog and overview, just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and do hit the bell to be notified of when we post new videos. Now, let's find out more about Tramways board game, designed by Alban Viard and published by AV Studio Games. Released in 2016, Tramways is a route building game designed by Alban Viard and published by AV Studio Games. The game plays two to five players competitively with a solo mode. It plays in 120 minutes and is of medium to heavy complexity. In Tramways, players serve as town planners in small city, constructing and upgrading buildings as well as the railway network and moving passengers around the town in order to increase the city's overall happiness. The player with the most happiness points after six rounds wins the game. The game is played using a mechanism of cards and symbols. Every action a player takes in the game requires two or more symbols to be spent by discarding cards from hand. For example, constructing a building on an empty parcel requires the building icon and the specific parcel icon to be discarded from hand. And building a rail link which has three tiles worth of rail requires three rail icons, a railway worker, and one card representing the destination of that link. As a default, players may only use one of the several icons located on a given card, but may use extra icons from the same card by increasing stress and this will be worth an increasing number of negative points by the end of the game. Players can gain new cards in several ways through the game, such as by building new buildings, by delivering passengers to commercial districts, and a new card gained at the start of each round after the turn order auction. There is a wide disparity in the quality of the auction cards, with some of them quite strong and others actively harmful to the player making this auction an important part of the game. The game is a slow deck building game with discarded cards cycling back through a player's deck on subsequent turns. Most of the actions in the game will deliver some sort of victory points, but moving passengers around the board is ultimately the key to the game. When moving a passenger, a player pays a ticket and an icon representing that passenger's destination. Each link that the passenger traverses earns its owner a victory point as well as some money, although using an opponent's links requires the player to pay that opponent rather than the bank paying the opponent. Then the player who moves the passenger takes a bonus based on the type of destination. Industrial destinations give the player an extra rail worker, which is required for building rail. Commercial destinations give the player extra money or cards. Residential destinations let the player reduce stress and Leisure buildings let the player pay money to gain victory points. Thus, establishing a carefully thought out network which maximizes a player's score and manages his or her stress is critical to winning the game. After six rounds of play, players add points for leftover money and reduce points for any stress that they've collected during the game. And the player with the highest score wins. And that's what to expect from Tramways. We hope that you enjoy the video and we hope that it helps you. If you'd like to learn the rules to the game in full, we have a how to play video and you can click on the link in the description to check out how that works. We also have a video for the various different expansions for Tramways. And once again, you can click on the link in the description to check out the rules for those. If you enjoy this video, please let us know by hitting the like button, write your questions and feedback in the comment sections below. You can also join our Facebook group, Meeple University Community, to share your love for board games. 
And finally, if you'd like to be among the first notified on what's new from Meeple University, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can click on the Meeple up in the corner to do so, and do hit the bell for notifications. Until next time!